Hello, this is an assessment of a Richard Lip Upright Piano, 1898, and uh, it's an assessment to see what needs doing. We're, we're going to store this piano uh, with a view to us using it for rental for five years, and the client, we've asked the client to get it polished first because um, it won't really rent out like it is. We can't really use it because it's too, um, the case isn't good enough. In fact, this panel here has been changed. The piano is actually rosewood. Uh, this panel may not be rosewood, it looks more like mahogany and uh, we're going to have to see if that matches in properly. We do French polishing on pianos and there's an example of uh, something in the polishing room. This is a, a walnut uh, Bluster grand piano and uh, we apply about 30 coats of French polish finishing off by waxing and uh, uh, antique waxing. So I don't think there's any doubt about this piano needing repolishing before it's rented out. Um, the key tops are quite good, uh, we'll just check those that are not likely to come off in the near future because that's obviously a problem if it's rented out but uh, I don't think we've got much problem with those keys. Look at the inside of the piano, um, it's in generally quite good condition, the hammers have been refaced uh, but the tone of them is good. And improved slightly by replacing them but really not that significantly and uh, the dampers well they're not pulling off at exactly the same time as each other as you can see but uh, it's damping very well indeed and generally the action is pretty well regulated it's not perfectly regulated but it's it's quite good tunings at, at a440 at concert pitch and the tuning pins haven't been knocked in at all so that's a good sign we test the tuning pins to make sure they're tight but i think we're fine there so technically speaking the piano is pretty good there's been a replacement bass string but it's been done well a good match tone wise so that's encouraging. So generally, uh, pretty good on the inside. There's some replacement tapes here, which uh, have been done well, and the rest of the tapes don't look as though they're about to break, so that's also a good sign. The key dip is at uh, about 10.5. This is an 11 millimeter key dip measurer. Um, it doesn't quite have enough aftertouch on it. When you put, put the hammer towards the string, there doesn't any feeling of aftertouch so then we ought to increase that by about half a millimeter uh, would be nicer for aftertouch so I like to set the normally key dip at 11 it's usually about right for, for most pianos so there's slight variety according to the make of the piano so that's a lip upright piano 1898 and it's been bought in to assess with a view to renting it out um, from what we've seen we need to repolish the piano and some minor regulation but uh, generally in good condition it's a beautiful tone as well rich bass Richard Lips do. There's a bit of toning around there. So excellent piano, thank you very much for listening. So we've now completed work on the Richard Lip and particularly the polishing if you remember that was what was really needed to be done and we've actually replaced the front panel with rosewood veneer because it was impossible to work on what we had there uh, and uh, so now you can see the French polish it's been about 30 coats of French polish waxed and uh, antique wax so that it gives you a nice finish and you can see the grain not too much reflection on it. So that's a Richard Lip upright piano uh, repolished and ready now for renting out. We've done the minor regulation, we've done fine tuning as well. Now the client doesn't want the piano back yet, so we, we offer up five years storage free um, and we will use the piano for rental, we'll use the piano maybe for clients who give us their piano to restore or maybe for uh, people who come to Oxford for a short term study.